Okay, hello, and welcome to your last Java tutorial. No, I'll do two more. I'll do two more tonight, and then I'll upload them. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be learning about constructors. What is a constructor? Well, let's say, okay, when God decided to make Henry, he decided to add qualities to him while he was being constructed. He didn't just create him and then add these qualities later. He added these qualities as he was making them. So what a constructor will do is it'll add the qualities while it's being made. So let's make a um, people. Uh, actually, let me tell you how to make a constructor. You all have to do is add the type and then add the braces. And then that is how you make a constructor. And then for now, we'll, let's get rid of set height. No, actually, we'll keep that. And then what this will do, um, let me show you. The print line. Um, this person was created, right? What will this do, right? Um, this person was created, and then it does a two ties, one for Henry and one for Shorty. What does this constructor actually do? Well, what a constructor does is whenever you allocate new memory for it, it'll, you know, it'll be like new people, new people. It'll do this. It'll do whatever people is. It'll call this constructor, and it'll do this, and it'll just stop. Constructors never have return types, and they never have um, names. In fact, people is the name and the return type. It's a little confusing. Just ignore it for now. That's a little advanced Java. Just remember, okay, people is return type, or is the um, method constructor. It'll do this whenever a new person is created. You could even do this. New people, or right and you don't even have to set it to anything it'll just create a new person see it does it three times and every time you call that it'll do that now you don't now there's something else you have to do um what if you want uh, like a parameter to that constructor you know you're like oh int l height why can't you have a cons uh, parameter to there turns out you can it's really easy all you have to do is int um, let's say um, set height, right? It's going to print an integer, and whenever you call that, it's going to require an integer. And we'll just do height equals set height, right? And you'll notice this will give us errors, and we'll get rid of this. It'll be like, okay, this has an integer, this doesn't. Um, it, or something for real fast if you didn't have a constructor nothing this would just be, you know it would just do nothing once you have a constructor you have to have it equal to the amount of parameters so let's have henry five again and let's have shorty nine and then exact same thing will happen this person is nine feet tall this person is five feet tall right um pretty simple I don't think it's that hard you know this basically all you did is said put it into there high equals that five nine get person size remember that pretty simple something else you can do is you can do string name and then you could do um private string name right you remember that pretty simple stuff and then you can just do um, name equals name. Um, let's just do um, set name. And then we'll do set name. Simple. Um, and then we'll do a um, public string get name. And then we will just return um, name. Pretty simple. And then what that will allow us to do is see another error. So his name is Henry, and this guy's name is Shorty. And what you can do is you can say um, p dot get name plus whatever you know a space. So Shorty nine feet tall, Henry five feet tall. Said okay, Henry is Henry, Shorty is Shorty. Shorty is 9 feet tall, 5 feet tall, study it, 
you know, done this, and then you could probably do is, you know, pretty simple tutorial. And until then, I'll do my next tutorial. Until then, see you later.